Hi guys, I'm back with um, a few layouts to share with you today and then I'm going to show you a quick little project um, that I did. So first of all I'll go ahead and share the layouts. Um, I ended up doing four layouts within the last couple of days. Um, this first one I used the new Basic Gray uh, What's Up collection. And these are pictures from mine and my husband's wedding. We, um, I guess you could say eloped. Um, we went to Vegas at the time we lived just a few hours from Vegas. And so we ran down there and ended up getting married. And we were both 18. And so, actually, he had just turned 19. Um, and I was 18. And... Yeah, we had been together for like four years prior to this, and we're still together, so, you know. <laughs> um, anyways, this layout is titled With This Ring, and then my subtitle here says I The Wed. I don't know if you can even see that. They're so tiny. Um, and those are little alphas from Lily B Design, and they were white originally, and I colored them in with um, a marker, a pink marker that I had. Um, these are the notarized alphabet from Studio Calico. And then I basically just, this paper is from the What's Up, and then this long strip of striped paper is from that. And that's the only two papers that I used. Um, and then this little die cut is from the collection too, and it just has the date. And then there's these little flower stickers in the stick, on the sticker sheet that comes with the 12 by 12 collection. So I just put those on either corner here and then, I don't know if you can see, but I did use my Viva Decor pearl pen just to add a little more detail to it. It's a really, really simple layout, but I really like the way that it came out. And the reason I chose this collection, um, when I purchased it, I didn't even think about these pictures, but um, in the chapel that we got married in, there was like all these different colored flowers and so I felt like a lot of the colors went well with the colors in this collection so that's kinda why I chose them and these photos are of my husband and I putting the rings on each other that's why I titled it that so I had these pictures scrapped before and I didn't really like how I did it so I I had done it so long ago with like really cheap papers from Walmart and all that kind of stuff. You guys know how it is when you first start scrapbooking. You don't really, you're not really into the whole brand and all that kind of thing. So um, I decided to re scrap them. So that's that one. And then this one I used the PBJ collection from Basic Gray. It's titled Little Stinker. And I sort of kind of used a sketch. Let me grab it real quick. Oops, sorry. I have a bunch of sketches printed out from um, Studio Calico and um, what is it called? Sketchy Thursdays. So this is the layout that I kind of sort of used. Um, my photos I already had printed out at 4x6 and I didn't really want to shrink them down anymore. So I just rounded the corners and kind of made everything that size so like this one it has more little squares and then this whole space here that's blank with for your title and all that kind of stuff so I was inspired by the layout or I mean by the sketch but didn't exactly follow it but that's kinda of what I tend to do with sketches most of the time so um, like I said I just took pattern papers from the collection um, some of them are from the 6x6 and some of them are from the 12x12 collection but all from PB and J um, it's titled Little Stinker, and these are Lily B stickers, and then these are just regular thickers. I think those are from the Dear Lizzie collection. Um, this is a little sticker from the collection. And then this is my MFT camera die, and I cut that out of chipboard first, just really thin chipboard, and then um, cut it out with some of the papers from the collection. And then I did a little heart here with my paper tray ink heart die. And then I just took one of the little asterisks from this font and put it right there to kind of look like a flash. Um, 
I put an S right here on the camera because this is my son Shaden and I always put my boys initials on their pages or I try to um, and then this is a little Allie Edwards thing it says this is life and another little star from the collection and sorry for the glare that's my son <laughs> when he was about four months old he's four years old now so that was a long long time ago and it makes me sad um, and then I just did some journaling here on this Lily B um, journaling tab it's got the little file tab thing up here and I used an Allie Edwards thing that says go with the flow um, it's from the same stamp set as this one I can't remember what it's called let's see I have it right here it's from the it's okay stamp set by Allie Edwards so there's that one then I have this one I still not sure if I really like this one it's on a like a dark bluish gray background and then I used my Hamley screen print that I got recently the hexagons and just kind of put that on there and then cut a couple little strips of paper from the PB&J collection and then use some thickers from um, the Dear Lizzie Neapolitan and it just says bath time and then I have these two pictures of my son um, I liked this one a lot because you can see the ref his reflection in the mirror, so I, I really liked that. Um, and then here he is out of the bath and all bundled up in his towel. Um, I took these pictures, I remember, because I, I don't remember how old he was, but this was about the time where he actually started enjoying baths rather than screaming the entire time or crying because he was cold. Um, those of you who have baby babies know that you know normally or mine anyway when he was a newborn didn't really enjoy baths and this time or around this time is when he really started to enjoy them and he would kind of just relax in them and and not care too much about getting a little bit cold so um, but yeah so I'm I'm still not sure if I'm done with this one yet it's really really plain I really like the blank space but I don't know if I want to add like some Mr. Hueys or some more elements. Um, maybe if I, f if I ever get my wood veneers from Stop and Scrap that I pre-ordered, um, I'll add some of those to it. I don't know. <laughs> so there's that one. And then this is the last one that I actually just finished um, just like a few minutes ago. And... Um, it's titled five moments to remember so what I did here is I cut out a number five with my paper tray ink um, numbers it's by the numbers die I have it right here you get all the numbers and they're a really nice size um, so I took the five I cut a little rectangle of paper around it to make sure there were straight edges um, and then I used the negative and used my pinstripe Mr. Huey's and just sprayed over it. I think I did it like three times. And then, um, yeah, after that, I stamped this little moments to remember. Sorry, I don't know if you guys can even see that. The little moments to remember, that's an Allie Edwards stamp set. And in the background, it's kind of hard to tell what all those little things are, but they're numbers. And I did that with this crafters workshop template you can see it's really dirty it's called mini numbers collage and so I just laid it over that after this Mr. Huey's was all dry of course um, I laid it over that and then I took some weather vane excuse my phone uh, weather vane ink and just kind of sponged over it so that it was a different shade you know so it didn't blend into the, the rest of it um, but there were still, you know, other numbers in there. And I really like how that came out. Um, and then I just wrote summer and fall 2009. All of these photos, I've actually, I scrapped them before. And I even showed it in a video. But even when I did it, I didn't really like how it was on the layout. So I decided to re-scrap them. I actually had copies of every single one of these. And I, I did end up adding this one because in the other layout I just had these four, but I added this one. So I took my Polaroid stamp from Lawn Fawn, from the Say Cheese stamp set from Lawn Fawn. And I just cut those out and then I cut my pictures to fit inside. And then, I don't know if you can see, on all of them I've got these little words. 
or kind of just explain all the photos here. So um, what I did was I took my Lily B Alphas, which are right here. And you can probably see that <laughs> some of them didn't really want to stick down very well again. Sorry about that. Um, they didn't really want to stick down too well. But anyways, I put them on there and then I took my Copic Multiliner. It's the .05 uh, tip. And I just traced around the letters and then took them off. So um, this one, like it says, it says killing spiders. My son has... My husband's big old shoe, and he's over there pretending to kill spiders. Um, this one is where he put my bra, like the strap over his neck. <laughs> um, this one he has olives on his fingers. He loved olives at this time. Um, and then this one is a picture of him. He has my husband's underwear on his head, like his head is through the leg. Um, and then this one. He's making this hilarious face, and this is his binky, and we put some cake batter. This was my birthday on this year, and um, we put some of the cake batter on his binky, and that's the face he made. So that one's titled Binky Batter, Mama's Bra, Dad's Underwear, Olive Fingers, and Killing Spiders. So, um, yeah, and I was, I was really inspired to kind of arrange them this way from that Studio Calico Polaroid paper. So that's kind of why I did that. This paper is from Studio Calico, and then this is just a plain white thing. Um, I did use some more of the pinstripe Mr. Huey's over here just to kind of tie it in a little bit with that. Um, and again, this is another layout that I really feel needs more embellishments, like dimensional embellishments. And I think some of the Studio Calico would... Um, cameras would be really really cute on this so when I do finally get those hopefully next month um, then I'll probably come back and add those on there as well and then I also need to add his initial on here somewhere as well so those are all of my layouts and then I just have a quick little thing I thought of the other day I was on the internet looking at different sites whoop, my camera's falling. Um, looking at different sites for like different things to use in Project Life. And I, I can't remember the website for the life of me. Um, but I seen one where they had these little um, notebooks and they had like the months written on the front. And they were really, really cute. But I was like, those are totally easy to make. I could make them myself. So I decided to go ahead and make my own. And I just used some craft card stock and then I used just plain computer paper on the inside and made my own little tiny notebook and I um, bound it together with some Baker's twine. I used my Studio Calico Stepping Stone Alpha for the April and then the notes part is just those little Studio G stamps that you get at Michael's for like a dollar. Um, and then I outlined with my white gel pen and colored that April in with my white gel pen. So the plan for these is to either put them behind one of the pockets in Project Life like for the month, the one that I have the month on, because I do Project Life more on a monthly basis. I mean I still will do like a couple weeks at a time, but I just like kind of categorize them as a month, not really a week or you know this day, you know, and I, I'll put dates on different things, but I don't always do like a, a whole page for one week. I kind of just do a couple pages for the whole month. So I haven't decided if I'm going to tuck this behind somewhere or actually have this be an element on a page. Um, obviously I would want it to be like on the top section so someone could pull it out and read it. But um, the other day I was sitting there thinking and I actually <laughs> had a little discussion about lying with my four-year-old. And it was really kind of, you know, a special moment for me as a mom to, you know, to have him, like, listening so intently to what I had to say about lying and different things like that. And I was like, you know, I really would like to kind of write or document this in Project Life, but I didn't really know how to, like, take a picture of it. So I decided that I would go ahead and make these little booklets. And even if I don't have a photo for something, if it's just, you know 
maybe my thoughts about something at the at one particular time. I'm I'm writing them down in this notebook. Um, this is my project life kind of notes notebook. So I'm writing them down in here, putting the date on them, and then as I do project life, I'll go in and write the date and my little journaling thing. And I'm just going to keep that in Project Life because I think it'll be fun to kind of look back on those as well, even if you don't have a photo to go with the with the story. So that's what I was going to do um, with that. And I mean, they're super super simple to make. So um, I could I probably could have made all 12 of them for all the months <laughs> if I wanted to all at one time. But I think I'll just make them separately. Um, so yeah, um, I think that's all. I had to share with you. I do have another project that I did for home decor. Um, I'll go ahead and show it to you really quick. Just one second. Okay, I'm back. Um, I just wanted to share this with you really, really quickly. It's nothing really special, but I told I kind of stole the idea from Pinterest, and I got these little wood um, pieces. We actually had a piece of wood left over from another project. I don't know what they were from. Um, let me take it off. Maybe. Um, they're just these little thin pieces of wood. I, I'm sure we probably got them at Home Depot. And then I just made some little letters with my silhouette and then painted them on. And then I sprayed over it with like an acrylic sealer. And then I just, I bought these little Velcro things because I couldn't find any 3M ones that were small enough. They only had like one package and I needed two. So they are kind of velcroed on there but it works it's you know pretty close to the wall and it just has all of our names on it so it has my husband Philip my name Aaron Hartley and Shaden and I think it came out really really super cute my mom loved it she was like oh my gosh that's adorable so I just thought I'd share that with you really quick just because it was an idea from Pinterest and I was really happy with the way that it came out so Anywho, that's all I have to share with you guys today. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.